listen to me, listen to me real good. I've told you once, I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from. Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple. Go ahead, Sister Ashley. Do you know if I have to wear fringes on my clothes? Oh, boy. That's the first know, one. I do know what the Bible says about this, but I do not know how to sew. What can I do for my family, husband, self, and sons? Reaching out from Georgia. Bro, Shane, you, you um, turn the scriptures to... Uh, Dabber Ring 21. No, 22. Deuteronomy 22, verse 12. Now, what we have today is we live in a generation. Are y'all going to listen? Yes, sir. All right, y'all listening out yes, there? Yes, sir. And I understand how ignorant and stupid and dumb this looks. To think that a man can sit up there and actually tell you the truth. <clears throat> but nevertheless, that's what he chose. Yes, sir. Yes. Sure. You're not going to recognize the truth unless you have the spirit of truth. Yes, sir. You don't have the spirit of truth? I understand the fight, the wrestle, and the struggle. I understand the conflict if you don't have the spirit of truth. When fringes was instituted. The scriptures talked about it being around the border of your garments. Is that right? And since that time, we've had numerous amount of people try to tell us what that book says. You got some people wear some type of uh, aerosol repelling ropes on belt loops. Two in the front and two in the back. Now how can you have a corner on your body. Hmm? Yes, sir. And the whole purpose of those fringes, external, yes, sir. outside, yes, sir. was a identifying mark. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was a mark mm -hmm. so that when you see these, they would remind you yes, Remind you yes. to do what? Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. Right. Now, I'm asking you, given the history of our people, no. No. how good did that sign do? Not good, that doesn't do away with the word. No, I'm asking you, what good did it do? Right. Hmm? That's, that was the whole design. He even said, in, in uh, King James translation, he even says, make a quarter blue. Yes, but if you go to my website, you'll find out there's no such thing as a quarter blue. True. See, I'm already upset in apple cart. You know the reason why? Because it disturbs religious dogma. Yes, that's right. There's a spirit out there that when you start telling the truth... And you've been lying all this time? Or let's just say you have been living what you believe to be the truth. You didn't know it was the truth, but the truth is you never did investigate what you believed. You just assumed what you heard was the truth. And you started doing that because somebody told you. But then when the truth comes, because you have come out so hard and preached it so adamantly, it's the truth, it's the truth, it's the truth. Well, somebody's dignity has got to die then. Truth is progressive. I'm sorry. 
But I know more now than what I did five years ago. I'm planning on being far along five years from now. Father's will, he has mercy on our soul to live. I don't want no spirit of Ichabod pronounced on me. But when you look up the word blue, isn't it amazing how the English does? The mental gymnastics. Why come you just, what, what is the problem? That you just simply cannot translate a word as close as you can get to the original. Why do you have to really just go like way off in Space Mountain or somewhere? It does it all throughout the King James. There was a time that I used to say, King James only. Right. Right. You know what I was? That was 20 years ago. Yes. It was long about 2000, 2001. I went up to Walmart. Because I just started preaching that we're Israelites. I didn't preach it coming out the box like a lot of people do. I just drop a word here or there. We're Israel. And I let people see more than what they were hearing. Because I know we don't hear good. And what I did is I got a pattern. And I said, Sister Vicky, here's a pattern right here. And I want you to make this garment according to this spec and modify it like this. And then from that point on in preaching, you saw me wearing a garment just like this. I didn't go around tell everybody, we are Israel, we are it, because you're Christians. Right. Truth. You know what happens when you tell people the truth about who they really truly are, but in mind they're not being converted? So in deliverance messages and stuff, I start dropping, we are Israel, go right back to Christian doctrine. Then start progressing, start progressing, start progressing. I say, oh, oh, time to go, time to let it all go now. Whatever's left is left. You know, you have a four or five year warming up process, a long time to be warmed up, isn't it? Isn't that a long time to be warmed up? But I let you see by my change of garment what I was doing. I would normally wear just regular old dress shirts. Van Heusen. Go back and check out some of the old videos. And the videos you're seeing on YouTube that's really, really old preaching, that's preaching way back in 2000, 2001, 99, 2000, 2001. That ain't 2005, 6, 7. Truth is progressive when you have been robbed from your culture. That's why they use words like restoration, restitution, and regeneration. You ever heard those words before? Yes, sir. You ever heard those words before? Yes. And you got people right now that is stuck back off in the law that our people never did keep, which we should keep. Y'all hear this? Yes, sir. But watch this. Because see, what we have in this generation, we have a people that want to dress up the outside the cup of the platter. They are very religious. And they look really, they're meticulous about being religious. When Brother Mitch got married, well, let me see, let, hold, I'm talking English. But y'all understand. Y'all comprehend because y'all are a little more advanced now, right? Yeah, I hope so. Let me say it right. When Brother Mitch was betrothed. Yes. Yes. Alright? Because you know, you know what married is to the English mind, right? Yes. We walk down the aisle, stand in front of the lion preacher, opens up a book, act like he's reading the Bible, and you can't find that nowhere in there. And then rather than people celebrate me for being the best friend they have never had. They get mad at you for disturbing their world and telling them the truth that they should have known all along because nobody loved them enough to tell them the truth. And of course, what does Galatians 4.16 say? Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And the answer is an emphatic yes. 
People hate truth and love lies. You don't believe me? If you ain't a good looking person, somebody tell you you look good, don't you love that lie? Yes. Right. <laughs> Hypocrites. So people love dressing up the outside. Brother Mitch, dad told him that he has a garment that is made to specs. I said, I'll see it when I see it. I'll see if it's made to specs. That thing was so far off. Come on. But to him, it was to spec. Now who else is going to say it's not made to specs if you didn't know what the word says, the law says? I didn't see a talik. I seen a quart of blue. I didn't see a quart of talik or violet or purple. Right. It'll be a light purple. It's really a violet. Yes, sir. Come on. If we're going to do things to spec. Now we got people running around with fringes and they think that that makes them keep the commandment. <laughs> Our people wore fringes and didn't keep a damn commandment. That's true. Yeah. If they did, we wouldn't be in the condition we're in true. today. I read the law. I know what the law says. Blessed are you that do his commandments. You got the blessings and the curses. All throughout the scripture. All throughout the And a renewed covenant. Blessed when you keep the commandments. You're blessed. No matter what. You're blessed. All oh, you're blessed. You're blessed coming in. Blessed going out. You're blessed. You're blessed everywhere. And where we at? We're repeating the same time in Ezra's day, except nobody wants to go build. Uh oh. Look at him looking. Hmm? So we, we, we think if we see somebody dress what we call Hebrew, you want to see what Hebrew is, go over to, to the continent called Africa and look at a tribe called a Limba tribe. Something like that. Look at them looking. So we put on these garments. We, we, we dress it the way we think. Right in our own eyes. And we think that we're meeting the conditions. First that which is natural. natural then that which is spiritual. Is that not a principle in the law? It is. is that not a principle in all the scripture? All right, so let's read the precept. Read. Make tassels on the four corners of the garment. See, and now you're looking at, well, where's the corner at over here? I guess if I put a slit right here, I could put the corners and make corners in, right? I've seen tassels on a hieroglyphic run up all the way like this. See, you're dealing with translation now. Read on. Make tassels on the four corners of the garment. With which you cover yourself. With which you do what? Cover yourself. Cover yourself. All right. Um, Numbers 1538. Read. Speak to the children of Israel. Speak to the children of Israel. Now, what we have today is we got everybody wants to be Israel. Y'all don't think it's a bizarre behavior how everybody just literally wants to just do away with the family of y'all? Y'all don't think that's bizarre? Yes, sir. Could y'all imagine us going up here in Lafayette, Tennessee? And they're having a family reunion today, and then we all show up and say we are family because we Christians. You think we're going to be accepted at that family reunion? No, but hold on, man. I'm your neighbor. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Huh? You'd be accepted for I would. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Number 15, 38. Read, listen to the book. And you shall say to them to make teat seats. Make what? Teat seats. Teat seats. Come on. 
on the corners of their garments. One minute is fringes, next minute is teat seats. I got a newsletter called Teat Seats. You go to the website, all the information is right there for you. Everybody in the United States of America done stole it. Actually, they didn't steal it. If I put it out there for them to have it, then did they? They just plagiarized everything today because people can't come up with nothing original. That's like I was telling L. Austin. I said, oh, look at that. Man, they had a radio station down there. It was down working on a pad, right? And some oldies came on. I said, man, you ever heard that before? He said, no, that's old folk music. I said, old folk music? I said, y'all can't come up with nothing original because everything y'all listen to comes from an old beat. It is. That's <laughs> At least we were creators. They take an old Isaac brother song. Yeah. Do I really care? <laughs> and they put a rap person to it with the same beat, yeah. and y'all think y'all hearing something original. Yeah. <clears throat> then I ask you, y'all like that? Oh, that's old folk songs. <laughs> See how I mind you? I didn't say how awesome mind is. I said, you see how our mind is. I did tell him about that, though. He just started laughing. Because he knew it was the truth. Teach, seek, three. On the corners of their garments throughout their generations. And to put a blue cord in the teach, seat of the corners. Y'all hear that? Put a blue cord. Go look up the word blue and see what you come up with. Even Strong's would tell you the truth in this instance. Now go to Jeremiah 31, 31. Mind you, what was the whole purpose of the fringes? What was the whole purpose of the T-seats? Remind to remind us to do what? Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. I suppose that guy that called himself an Israelite was keeping the commandments when he went out and bought a whore and found out it was a transvestite and he pulled his gun out and shot the person in the face, huh? See, changing your garments on the outside is not going to change the garment of the heart. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's true. The whole purpose with that is for you to put the commandments, have them written on, the, on your heart. See how it's progressive? What good is it for you to be looking like this, yet you don't keep the commandments? What good is it? What good is you to dress to spec? And you don't keep the commandments. And the reason why that many people will never understand this today is because of a few reasons. Number one, they, de they deny the Messiah or the Hamashiach that bought them. And they bring up on themselves swift destruction. And number two, they deny the indwelling or the infilling of the Ruach HaKadosh. They that are led by the spirit of y'all, these are the what? And all, if you only think you're led by the letter of the law, you ain't led by the spirit then. He said the true worshipers are going to worship me in spirit and in But what if you avoid spirit and truth and all you have is the law? Oh, I know all the word. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. I know what the word says. Yep. Sanctify them through thy truth, and thy word is truth. I know exactly what the word said. The problem we're having is its application. Yes. We do not properly apply the word. And as a result, when you got blind leaders, the blind lead the blind and they both fall into the ditch. And that's the reason why many of you out there are powerless. Yes. You have no power because you deny the Ruach. And then when you deny the Ruach, you start going down these other religious beds. Next thing you know, King David is the king. He's the Messiah. Next thing you know, the, the Apostle Paul is now a, a false apostle, and, and you ain't even got a calling. 
You wouldn't even be invited to even sit near the Sanhedrin. Amazing, isn't it? Boy, men are corrupt minds, huh? Jeremiah 31, 31, listen to the book. Listen to the book. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh. Yahweh said the days are coming. Read. That I will make a new covenant. You're going to make a new what? Covenant. A new covenant. Let's see if the covenant is really and truly new like he said or like the translation is saying. Let me say it that way. All right, read on. With the house of Israel. With the house of what? Israel. With the house of, no, Christians. Israel. No, Jews. Israel. Catholics. Israel. You see what I'm talking about? Baptists. Israel. Missionary Baptists. Israel. Once saved, always saved Baptists. Israel. Sin all you want. Israel. This new covenant is going to be with the house of Israel and with the house of who? Judah. Read. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. Wait a minute. Not according to the covenant that he made with their fathers. Not, a covenant, not according to the covenant he made with Moses and the prophets. The priest. See, you're talking like that and it sounds like that you're doing away with it because that's what you're used to. But that ain't what it's saying. Look, what, look at this. You're going to find that this covenant still the same old covenant. The application is different. Still the same covenant. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Read. That I made with the fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. There's got to be talking about Moses' day. If we apply the proper method of interpretation. Got to be talking about Moses' them day. Read on. Which my covenant they broke. Which my covenant they broke while they were wearing fringes and teeth seats. Read on. Although I was a husband unto them. Although you was a what? A husband. What was the purpose he gave us to us in the first place? Because you are his wife, betrothed. And he dresses you up the way he wants you to wear. Come on. Saith Yahweh, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith Yahweh, I will put my laws in their inward Wait a minute. parts. He's going to put his laws where? Inward parts. Now, proper application. These were a reminder for us to do what? Keep the law. Keep the commandments. Is that right? Is that right? Because we didn't retain it in here. They did not like to retain Yah in their knowledge. Just like you do today. Cherry picking. What you want to obey and what you want to disobey so you can live your life. But, last time I checked was, is that your life is hid with Christ in Yah. Last time I checked was, you're no longer your own. You've been bought with a price. But some of us have done reneged on the contract already. See, the mind is not right. We had these on so we could be reminded of keeping, you know what? Y'all said that ain't working too good, so I'm going to stick it on the inside of them. I'm actually going to write it on their heart so they don't have to have nobody to remind them to keep the law. Keep the commandments. Read. And write it in their hearts. And will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. Now, isn't that amazing? As soon as even a thought to entertain or to entertain breaking the commandments come, automatically the spirit of truth shows up. Automatically he shows up and checks you. Isn't that something? 
My advice is, is you get the genuine Holy Spirit. The real Holy Spirit. That all these camps deny that doesn't exist. If, they, if you can study the scriptures and receive the Holy Spirit, then the whole damn world got the Holy Spirit. And we know that ain't true. And if you don't have his spirit, you are none of his. I don't care how black, how white, how melanated, unmelanated, how red, how yellow, whatever you call yourself. Let this Ruach go out of your body and not have his Ruach. This makes sense? So, in all that, did I say we shouldn't wear tassels, seats, fringes? I didn't say that, did I? Huh? I just gave you proper application. Hmm? See, you people got the horse, but you ain't got no cart for the horse to pull. Remarkable, isn't it? And this whole renewed covenant, this whole covenant, all it did was transfer from stones to your heart. And most of you still ain't got it. That's, how, that's the reason why they mean you can still go out and wear teeth seats and then go out and buy a horse and then end up with a transvestite and then you pull out your gun, you shoot them, now you're doing 20 in the pen. Because you ain't living nothing. I know what Zechariah, I know what all the prophets say. You can change all the clothes you want, but that will not change that wicked heart. Most of you got a beautiful change of garments, but your heart is wicked. See the problem? Because you ain't got no helper. Nobody to help you. You ain't got no comforter. Nobody to comfort you. Because your religious dogma and teachings teaches you to deny the Messiah that bought you. And in that you bring upon yourself swift destruction. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Why? Because you're tearing down his house of cards. Yes. All this religious pomp. Mm -hmm. Boy, we look good, don't we? Uh-oh, look at him looking.